Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm pretty happy. I seem to have fixed the uh, the sputter that I was getting. Uh, I didn't realize how many people were having this issue as well as me. I thought I was kind of like an isolated situation, but if you watch my last video, you can see what the issue was. I'll put a link up above. That way uh, you could just click on and see what the car was doing and see what I did to try to fix it. Um, you know, so like I said, I went through tons of troubleshooting. I um, I even swapped intakes, I changed tunes, I went from my Fearable Stage 3 to K-Tuner Stage 2 off the shelf, we're still doing that, I put the stock intake back in just to eliminate that option, um, John from Fearable was saying to actually, which I had misinterpreted from his initial email, he was saying that I should bypass that solenoid that I replaced in the video that I just uh, put the link up above. I, I just automatically assumed just replace it you know that it was bad replace it good to go needs to be there so actually by um, bypassing it the problem is fixed I could show you how that was done I'll show you what it looks like under the hood right now I'm gonna neaten it up right now I was just doing some testing I managed to do um, six pulls and it is operating pretty much flawlessly even in manual mode, in manual mode, just roll second gear, let the thing shift on its own, goes all the way to basically red line, none of that sputtering, so I'm pretty happy to say the least. I also wanted to thank uh, FB Rock. He reached out to me on Instagram and on uh, my YouTube channel, and he uh, he sent me some pictures, he even sent me a couple of videos on how he had his done, because he had, had uh, this problem as well. So I want to thank him as well, I appreciate the love. Um, and check out his YouTube channel. He's got one of the fastest accords out there. But uh, yeah, also I'm gonna put a, um, a picture of the diagram on how it's done. I'll show you what it looks like under the hood. I'll make a detailed video on, on how to actually do it. That way it's easier for everyone to figure out. I'll just show you rough, the rough look of it as it is right now. But in the next few days, I'll actually make a video step-by-step -step on how to run the lines and how to make it look, you know, how to do it correctly. So I'll show you what it looks like under the hood right now. I'm going to put that, that picture up for you right now before I do that. And that way you can see the diagram. You can refer back to that if you want to try it on your own before my video comes out. Or in the next few days, I'll be making that video and it'll just clear everything up for everybody. So let's get under the hood. Okay, so this is under the hood. The engine cover taken off. You will have to remove this to gain access under here. More or less, what you have to do is, you're going to hook a vacuum line up, like that diagram that I posted. A vacuum line here to the intake. It's gonna tap into this rail right here. It's the middle one. The middle one is gonna go to the actual bypass valve, which is down here. So you're just gonna trace this hose. It's hard to see in there. You can see me wiggling with my finger. That's your bypass valve. The hose runs up along here. And if you see as you follow it, it leads into this middle, this middle one. You'll have to unplug it from that check valve back there, the one that I replaced in that video that I was telling you about, which you could refer to. So basically, you're gonna leave it unplugged and you're gonna put this in place. A little confusing, like I said, when I show you the other video, you'll see it. And then you're gonna pull the other tube that goes on the bypass valve See, as you can see, it's not doing anything. It doesn't matter if this stuff is open because you're bypassing it. It's not going to do any damage, apparently. That's what I was told, so that's what I'm going with. <laughs> but the car's running great now. And then you're going to actually plug the other, the other one of these lines from the backside. So when I take it apart, I'll show you more in depth, but that's basically all I did to correct the problem. You just run that one line from here to here by using the rail. So you could use the factory rail still. Everything stays pretty neat. And then you're going to be plugging one side up and this bypass valve is going to be still in place. Do not disconnect the wire harness though. The wire harness has to be in place. So that's more or less how it has to be done. I had it run in the car because I swear to God, every, every time I make a YouTube video outside, my neighbor decides to mow the lawn. I, I could swear he could see me. It's so annoying. But uh, yeah, the guy's mowing the lawn, so I had to come in the car. But um, yeah, that's basically how it works. So far, like I said, I did six pulls. I'm not getting any of that sputtering. The car is just shifting nice and crisp now. None of that like 
you know, that in and out kind of a feel, like in boost, out of boost kind of deal. So a lot of you guys are um, having the same issue as me, just running K-Tuner, Fearable Stage 3, all that. Some guys with bigger turbos message me as well, saying they're having the problem too. So hopefully this brings light to you guys. I will show you how to do it more in depth, step by step. Otherwise, you could just follow the diagram on your own. So guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.